Have you ever seen women light candles on Friday night? No. That there's a strange aspect to what they do. Uh, they light the candles, then they cover their eyes as though they're about to say Shema Yisrael. But they don't say the Shema Yisrael, they say the Brocha. And after they say the Brocha, Ladik Neshel Shabbos, they take their heads off of their eyes. What are they doing? What are these women doing? So you know that there's a principle that we try to make the bracha uva la sieto. We make the bracha before we do the mitzvah. But uh, making the bracha uh, creates a problem because it means that you sort of accepted Shabbat. I mean, that's the moment at which you accept the Shabbat, when you make the bracha birkat mitzvah. And so it's important uh, to make the bracha before you light the candles. But you can't do that if you're going to light the candles after the bracha because it's already Shabbos, so it's also to light the candles. So this is what the women do. I mean, this is what the women do properly. I don't mean uh, that there's anything wrong about it. What they do is they light the candles. Then they cover their eyes. Now you understand that the reason that they cover their eyes is not because they're saying Shema Yisrael. They're covering their eyes because they don't want to get any benefit or pleasure from the light. The same thing will be achieved if they put something on their eyes or if even they close their eyes. Right? They're also, as long as you can't see the light of the candles, you could argue that you're not getting any benefit from the candles. As far as the Shabbat is concerned, those candles are not really lit. Then you say the bracha. Then the woman says the bracha, la shel Shabbat, and she takes her hands off her eyes. And now she sees that the candles are truly giving uh, uh, are truly giving benefit. He says, so uh, a man uh, who lights candles Friday night and is not accepting Shabbat, well, he doesn't have this whole problem. This doesn't exist. I mean, he lights the candles, he said the bracha, well, he says the bracha, and then he lights the candles, right? Just like he would do any other mitzvah. And he has to, therefore, perhaps it's reasonable to say that he should make sure that he understands that he's not being a, a, a Mechabel Shabbos, that he's not accepting the Shabbos at that time. Since he's not accepting the Shabbos at that time, he can make the bracha and then light the candles on Friday night.